dude here at my frame where pretense pseudo achievements and some of that uh, oppression or rather aggression that the square uh, community imposes on us um, um, will not uh, stand in case uh, some of you wonder nothing major has changed in the past uh, quarter of the century but some things evolved <laughs> look even this uh, beverage is not the same <laughs> i patented i was inspired by that uh, loud pomeranian and i call it uh, light prussian said it and speaking of uh, Pomeranians and other dogs uh, and perhaps bunnies, <laughs> we have noticed recently uh, pee stains on our front uh, lawn. <laughs> uh, Larry, photo, please. Thank you. Uh, uh, Larry has been ordered by the judge <laughs> to work for us <laughs> and partially thanks to those uh, pea stains or rather uh, dogs that uh, made them I've been awarded this uh, project this contract <laughs> to find out to investigate if there are any uh, stains you may say on the assumption hypothesis that the Canadians are polite. What? This? No, I'm not going to put it out. Everything started when my wife... Oh, by the way, do you see a wedding ring here? <laughs> I could be the right guy. Uh, anyways, she has noticed those stains and uh, her concern was that some of our friends may in their view or in their opinion relegate us into the lower tax uh, bracket <laughs> and her older uh, concern was <laughs> that I didn't see that as uh, any concern at all <laughs> to me grass is not always greener but from that moment on, <laughs> it became my uh, concern as well. And you know what they say, <laughs> happy wife, the grass thrive. Well, let's just say that I'm uncomfortable with the whole scenario. So I was about to go to a garden center, but then <laughs> I saw this uh, nihilist on the CBC program. And he was uh, talking about uh, weather changes, uh, heat waves and water shortages uh, here on, on the Canadian West Coast. <laughs> and he uh, suggested of going to this uh, website by the Ministry of uh, uh, Climate Change to find out more what uh, can be done uh, less, I guess, uh, to our uh, garden. <laughs> of course, I almost immediately <laughs> went to that uh, website and, and probably I misspelled something because uh, the search engine brought me to this uh, request of a proposal where uh, two ministries, two Canadian ministries actually, uh, Ministry of Climax Exchange, and the other, uh, the Ministry for Seniors provided funds to, to do this project to find out if Canadians are in fact uh, uh, polite. I, was being nice. I submitted my proposal almost right away, but I indicated that this is a more complex uh, situation because who do we call Canadians? French speaking, English speaking, or Canadians like myself with an accent? <laughs> Foreign accent. Politeness towards whom? Politeness towards uh, other Canadians? Uh, uh, 
uh, nihilists or uh, other nationals, or perhaps the focus should be on subgroups such as uh, millennials or or uh, seniors. <laughs> <laughs> and, and not only that, but if Sartre is correct uh, and hell are other people, then uh, who better to uh, scrutinize than the seniors? Because they must have, if that's true, experience uh, hell throughout most of their lives. And, and also they have been interacting uh, with all those uh, annoying and uh, dreadful people. They clock in, they clock out, and they never have a moment of happiness. And if we find any genuine politeness among seniors, that's a great uh, indicator. And not only reflects on uh, them, but on the whole Canadian uh, society. And it's not a surprise that uh, seniors, Canadian seniors, have their uh, desires as well, uh, uh, main desires, and, and perhaps to compensate for all that uh, um, past experiences. Uh, one of the main desires, and this is not anecdotal, the, the stats are there, are huge RVs and big boats on their driveways. You're going to need a bigger boat. And also uh, cruise ships, not, not on, the, on their driveways. Uh, <laughs> unlike uh, their RVs, uh, uh, they move from place to place. Uh, not as much during the pandemic. <laughs> but uh, another main desire related to uh, RVs and boats are repair of driveways, reconstruction of driveways, because that heavy weight has its impact. <laughs> the, the driveways are deformed and there are cracks. This friend of mine, Jesus, he calls himself Jesus. He repairs uh, driveways, that's what he does. Uh, he goes from door to door <laughs> and repairs them. And he tells me, that sometimes the only time that uh, the uh, NRV moves uh, from a driveway is during the uh, uh, reparation process. Another main desire among uh, senior Canadians are uh, plastic surgeries. <laughs> and uh, it's incredible reconstructive work. You are not uh, puzzled uh, and ask questions such as um, why? Why on earth? Why this is swollen? Why this looks worse than before? And why this is so old? No, you don't ask those questions because uh, Jesus, or rather Jesus, he uh, does incredible uh, reconstructive work and it's uh, short of uh, a miracle <laughs> and, and, and I, I, can, I can even say that I believe in Jesus' uh, resurrection of um, the driveways. <laughs> Although he doesn't call them uh, driveways, he, he calls them uh, tongs, tongs, because he believes that they le leak <laughs> the, the roads that are um, attached to. One of the main um, contributing factors to, to my success uh, of winning this uh, competition uh, tournament, in a way, <laughs> was uh, my... And not only that, but, uh, well, yeah, sure. <laughs> and, 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 and some say, uh, and, 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 and they could be right, that, um, uh, and that factor, the, the main, uh, uh, you know, what I'm trying to, to, to say here, uh, um, Look, look, there were, there were more, uh, and, and at the end of the day, <laughs> and that uh, contributing, the, the, the last toe that broke uh, the camel's uh, rack was, um, uh, you know what I'm trying, um, 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 was, uh, was, my, was my eloquence. I did not know that.
So once the, the funds were secured and I was announced as a winner, I told them, I went there and I told them right away that I need more funds. Uh, where is the money? I asked. I need more experts because um, I envision this uh, artificial intelligence system that is able to absorb all the information <laughs> on the Canadian culture, on the nuances of Canadian culture, on Canadians, uh, on uh, Canadian anecdotes, on uh, perhaps even court uh, hearings. <laughs> and, and, and therefore I needed to assemble a, a team of experts. Uh, Larry, can you show the preliminary uh, uh, system? what we have. Thank you. And the, the type of experts I wanted to uh, assemble was uh, pretty intriguing because I wanted a snorky uh, Eastern European computer programmers. I also wanted uh, opinionated statisticians <laughs> and I also uh, wanted in my team um, uh, sincere, very sincere poker players. Uh, but at all costs, I wanted to avoid hiring uh, uh, these uh, experts that are probably most common these days, uh, so-called uh, chicken nipples experts. <laughs> and the way I uh, filter through uh, all those different experts is, uh, you know, through teams, uh, Zoom sessions, watching video clips and uh, uh, interviews and uh, uh, monologues, dialogues. And I don't pay as much attention to what the person says, but rather to the books that are usually uh, uh, assembled or uh, the little library. Uh, and and, and um, my focus is usually on uh, experts with focus. Uh, uh, what I mean by that, I give you an example. If there is a, 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 an interview uh, with a bridge uh, engineer or a bridge architect, <laughs> you expect to see uh, certain books uh, behind uh, behind him uh, and the books are usually if the zoom is good and and and, and uh, contrast is there and, and sharpness etc and and the font is bold uh, enough you may see the titles such as um, uh, long longest bridges of the world although although it's vertical it's but it's confusing because the bridges are usually horizontal but you have to you have to kind of bend your neck uh, and read uh, vertically another book that you may uh, <laughs> may find in the collection of of that uh, engineer is um, ancient Roman uh, bridges. Sure, it, it belongs there. But if you uh, pay attention, you may notice also uh, water under the bridge. But if you really uh, uh, lucky and pay attention, perhaps you see there uh, Jeff uh, bridges. And perhaps this is a good segue to tell you <laughs> about the parallels between the dude I used to know and I, <laughs> the dude, the new dude, at least that's what friends call me. Uh, I mean those friendly friends, not the ones that uh, are happy when uh, I experience setbacks. <laughs> and, and look, not only I have Polish background, but I was born and raised in, in Poland. Mm. My last name, my last name ends with SKI as well. <laughs> and look, look, I could have lost uh, a bit of um, uh, weight, some hair, <laughs> but I gained some uh, accent and uh, gray. <laughs> and, and I have friends, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Jesus slash Jesus. Uh, I know uh, Walter, uh, and, and, and I know this, uh, I like also this uh, tape, this tune. Um, do, 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 looking at my front yard. 
Now, in terms of uh, our initial findings, I must admit that uh, we saved a lot of money to taxpayers because, look, look, look this, is, this is kind of given, this is uh, bleeding obvious. Uh, Canadian politeness is a, it's a stereotype, let's be honest. And propagated by, by whom? By uh, the Americans, of course. <laughs> Who else? Uh, and, and, and not only that, but uh, they basically are exposed to two nations, two, uh, their own, domestic, and us, Canadians, to the north. And sure, uh, uh, to the south, as far as, as, far as I remember, uh, the map, uh, there's mostly water. But yes, yes, they, they have, they, they do interact with other nationals, but not in such uh, great numbers uh, like with the Canadians. We also missed this incredible uh, opportunity because if I have secured this um, project during, during the peak of the pandemic, <laughs> then we could have added, uh, we could have added uh, additional questions to the surveys that they have, uh, uh, you know, uh, in the States. For example, uh, have you interacted with any Canadians in the last two months? <laughs> if so, a subsequent question could have been, <laughs> have you notice that your symptoms or rather your attitude was uh, downgraded from uh, a human uh, paraquat to an asshole <laughs> and, and also uh, have you noticed that your road rage is not there <laughs> instead of one finger you show the full hand and, and you gesture to other drivers to pass you by. And therefore, you don't feel uh, as insignificant. With all those manipulations, um, we, uh, Larry, did, did we get uh, any preliminary results? Uh, you know, any leads? The leads are weak. No, not much, not much. It's not, uh, it's not surprising because it's a complex uh, case and we have uh, pretty much covered and answered. Uh, <laughs> we we fulfilled the whole project pretty nicely. But here, here are the good news. <laughs> here are the good news. <laughs> we uh, are in the process. We've been securing a bunch uh, of other projects. On, <laughs> there are more frames coming <laughs> pretty soon. <laughs>